G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, Tuesday's here and we're all waiting with bated breath to see what happens. Well, at least I am. I don't know if you are, but have a look at this. ETH gas prices, 65 guay. Now, don't get me wrong, that's still kind of expensive uh, in the grand scheme of things. But wow, compared to what it was uh, just a week ago, it was over 100 guay. So, you know, it's dropped by near 50%, if not maybe even more. So that is great. Uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, uh, it's sort of great. I mean, again, still expensive, but uh, a lot better than what it was. I still don't know if the average Joe can really afford uh, this for smart contract sort of stuff. But, you know, again, a lot better. So we really need some, you know, layer two solutions to, you know, hurry up and happen. Because ETH 2.0 by itself, uh, it won't be enough. It will, you know, be the beginning of it. But layer two won't come quick enough. But for, you know, anyone who's holding a fair few ETH, 65 guay probably won't be so bad. But for me, it's still kind of pricing me out. Okay, market cap, 335 billion. So we're creeping our way up slowly but surely. We'll just have to wait and see, and we can see 10,266. But I found something in the charts that is really, really interesting, so I want to go over and have a look. All right, so we are on the weekly over here, and what I have up is the 21 EMA, so the uh, exponent, exponential, exp I can't even say it right, exponential moving average, and then just the 20 week moving average as well. Have a look at this, we zoom in, they have both basically touched, and this is really, really interesting for two reasons. In history, when Bitcoin has been in a bull market, Bitcoin doesn't go below this. Wicks wise, you know, it'll wick down below it, but it doesn't have candle bodies that close below. And we can see over, he over here, so this is just before the... Um, the halving, so this is the halving here. So let's just say after the halving, we haven't had anything go below. It's all been above. It's gotten pretty close at times, don't get me wrong. And this is very close, but I'm waiting to see if this will hold. If this holds, I am extremely bullish on Bitcoin. I'm bullish anyway. I do believe we're in a bull run. But if this holds and we don't, you know, the candle body doesn't go below, yes, the wick can go below and it might even be a big wick. But as long as the candle body stays above this, I'm, I'm bullish. I'm really bullish. You know, my personal opinion is it's a great time to buy right now. This has been a great dip. It's come down. And again, we are staying above the 21-week EMA and the 20-week moving average. So this is super bullish if we go based on what's happened in the past. Let's have a look what's happened in the past. So this is the last halving. We can see from sort of down even before that, look at this, this entire sort of bull run. It just constantly bounces off these. So it never really goes below. It bounces off it, and again, we wick below it at times, but otherwise it is bouncing off the 20 week or the 21 EMA and just stays above it. This is what I'm basing uh, my sort of theory on, that we are in a bull run, and we'll have to wait and see. Well, I guess over here it sort of really sat on it flat, but again, didn't go below uh, the 21 EMA. I mean, the 20 uh, week. So it really sat off the, the 20 uh, week moving average, but didn't go below the 21 week uh, exponential moving average. So again, you can look at this and it just does the same for the entire way up. We can see here, bounces off it again, bounces off them again, wicks down to it. And then we get to here. So this is the 2018 sort of market crash. So this is why I am super bullish right now. I'm just waiting to see what happens. You know, the markets are gonna come back after the Labor Day weekend, and we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. They have crossed, they are both touching each other, and we have this wick. We're waiting to see what happens with this weekly close. Now, obviously, we're only at Tuesday at the moment, so that weekly close could do anything. And look, it's possible that it goes below, but I am hoping that it stays. There has been a lot of support at that $10,000 range. Now, this is the weekly. Let's go to the daily, and we'll get rid of these averages. So the EMA doesn't apply so much for the daily. 
and we will put in some other indicators. All right, we want moving averages here. All right, I want one, I want two, and I want three. All right, so let's get some moving averages going. So this is the first one. All right, so the first one, let's go to the 50 day moving average. So we want 50. Style, we're gonna make this green. Okay, so you can see we're a little bit below the 50 day moving average. Now for this one, yep, orange is good. And we'll go the 100 day moving average. So you can see we're really finding support support on the 100 day moving average. And this last one, we're gonna to go to the 200 day moving average. And we'll make this red, because we don't wanna go below that. Once we go below that, things are a little bit drastic. All right, so as we can see, yes, we are below the 50 day moving average. That's not unusual, even in a bull run, we are finding support though on this 100 day moving average. So really the 100 day moving average currently isn't too far off our 20 week moving average uh, and isn't too far off the 21 week exponential moving average. But we are still above this 200 day moving uh, average. Now something else that happens in bull runs is it hasn't ever gone below the 200 day moving average. So we're still above. So technically this could go lower and bounce off here because if we go back, all right, we go back to the last bull run. Here we go. Here's the 200 day moving average. We hardly even come close to it at any stage. There's one part here where we dip down below and we bounce off it a few times over here. And really, this is where that last bull run started in the 15th of October 2015. And then it just started. It's not to say there weren't any dips, because as you can see, all right, even in a bull run, had a dip here, looked like it was a 43% dip. Let's have a look. We had another dip here. 29% dip. This is in a bull run. We've had a, I think, 18, 22% dip at the moment. We've had a number of other dips over here. So this dip that we're having at the moment, hopefully is not cause to panic. We'll have to wait and see, anything could happen. But again, based on all of this, we haven't even touched this 200 day moving average. We've still got a long way to go. And as I just showed before, the 20 week moving average uh, is, so I'll pull this across. The 20 week moving average is down here where these wicks are and the 21 week uh, exponential moving average is also both down here. So I am bullish right now. We just have to wait and see if this is going to hold. Will, you know, the, the Labor Day uh, holiday be the next leg up or, you know, could it possibly be the next leg down? I'm hoping that it's going to be the leg up. And again, this will be my confirmation that we are in a bull run. We haven't, we don't come down and touch the 200 day moving average. We bounce off the 20 week moving average and we bounce off the 21 exponential moving average. So my personal opinion, not financial advice, this is a good dip to be buying. I would be getting in and I have been, I bought some uh, only a few days ago. Now look, they have come down, uh, they're not in profit, but I'm an investor, I'm not a day trader, I'm holding for the long term. Minimum sort of 12 to 18 months, really for most of my positions. It's not to say that I won't do a couple of swing trades here and there if I pick something up uh, in the charts, but at the moment I am super bullish and this looks like a great time to buy. I guess time's gonna tell if I'm gonna be right and I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. If there's anyone out there telling you that they're never wrong and they know exactly what's gonna happen, don't trust them, they are 100% lying to you. This is just my personal opinion, super bullish right now. All right, stay safe, be kind to one another, hit that like button if you like my content, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you think these moving averages are gonna hold and be something that Bitcoin's gonna bounce off because obviously the rest of the market will follow. And if you disagree, let me know. And let me know if you think there's another key indicator that we need to look at. 
be kind to one another, and I'll see you next time.